Now, when we implement cryptography, the strength and the viability of our system all centers around our keys. How are we going to manage our keys? The first place is, once we have keys, how do we distribute those keys? Key distribution is a big deal. One way to distribute keys is manually. Let's assume that you have a key you want to give to someone else. Now, typically, the manual transfer or the key distribution issues occur with symmetric key cryptography, which means that we have a secret key, and I have to give the secret key to the intended recipient, but I can't just email it to them because, of course, that's insecure. So I can manually pass it over to the receiver. Both parties must physically meet and physically transfer some media. It can be a pad of paper where you've written it down, or it can be some electronic media that has the key written or stored on it. Oftentimes it's going to be some sort of removable media or literally, as I said, paper. We could use public key encryption. Now this is an interesting approach. Once you have public key encryption set up on your machine or on your system, you can use that to exchange private keys. And this is kind of a blended approach that many systems tend to use. Once you have your public key encryption mechanisms all set up, you can then take your private keys, encrypt the private key, and send it securely to the other end, to the receiver. The receiver then decrypts and now has a secure transfer of the secret key. Then you can do away or just put aside the public key encryption scheme if you want to and use symmetric key encryption for the additional speed. So it gives us again a hybrid approach. If the hybrid approach is not what you're after, you could also use the Diffie-Hellman exchange. The Diffie-Hellman exchange is an algorithm that is used to calculate and exchange values on both sides. So you have a sender and a receiver, and each one runs through several steps of the algorithm using very large integers and modular arithmetic. What happens is the specific algorithm results in each side coming up with the same large value, the same large integer, and that large integer is then used as a secret key. So you can calculate on two different ends of the spectrum, you can calculate this large integer value and exchange pieces of the algorithm back and forth or pieces of the result back and forth without compromising intermediate steps. So you can, in private, both come up with the same number. It's an interesting approach.